Okay. Oh, yay. Thank you for making it back in. Thanks, son. Yeah, I don't know why it says it lost my connection. And sorry about that. Yay, Cheryl. Everybody. Oh, y'all are terrific. Thank you. Let me see if I can put, put it right here. Thank you. Annette Parsons. Yay, you found me. I just put Annette's name in. Because as soon as we do show and tell, we're doing a drawing Yay! Okay, let's go start our show and tell. Ready? Let's see. All right, we'll start with Alberta, who made a wonderful quilt here. I think, did she say she made this for her daughter yes this is a baby quilt it's lovely annette you did a wonderful job lovely okay and then i um, have another picture that shows the wonderful modeled background that she did and look at this wonderful tie quilt that she made for an aviator and it's all his favorite aviator ties isn't that wonderful I love that. With quilting, you can make a gift so special. All right. So now let's see who we have next. Because we're, we've got a drawing to do. But I don't want to rush this part. Brenda has sent me some amazing things that she does. And so we'll go through. I love this ship. Okay. Let's go through and see all of the wonderful things she did. And Brenda has a shop now, and she does custom quilting for clients. Look at this beautiful rope bowl that she painted. Look at that. Very talented woman. I love her quilts. Look at the butterflies. I love this tree. Beautiful job. I love the flat, uh, the blue jay she's got on here. Look at that. That's really nice. I love collage quilting. There's a curvy landscape. Beautiful work. A look at this one. And I love the white mountains back there. Then here is one of her customer quilts, she does a beautiful job with quilting. Beautiful. Look at this. Isn't that dramatic? I love it. So Brenda sent us some really good photographs of her work, and I just love it. Here is one of her quilts in a show. There's another one. That's a tessellation quilt and a holiday quilt. Thank you, Brenda. We love seeing this. It gives us so many ideas. All right, next is Carol. Carol is an amazing artist. And I show this just to, oh, just to drool over it. Since I will never be able to make one but it is beautiful. And then I love, Carol exceeds in doing hand art and these wonderful scrolls she makes and the stitching is amazing. Love Carol's work. 
All right. Now let's see. We're going to go back. And I don't think I have much to show. This week I've just been so busy. Uh, recent photos. I've just got just a couple. Here is our first um, nod to the 19th century block. Whoops. I better come back out. This is block number one. And I think I left block number two. Mark and I went by the river just to get out on a pretty day. Um, let's see. I think I showed y'all the two hearts that I was making last week. I finished them. And then my daughter made this Valentine's dinner for her kids. Yep. Normally we do meatloaves in the shape of a heart and we do pink mashed potatoes. She did the pink rice. That is so cute. We love little holidays, you know, whatever little thing we can do. Now, Miss Becky has made these for her sweetheart and they are peanut butter cookies that she tried to make into a heart shape, but I think they look delicious. It doesn't matter whether they are per perfectly heart-shaped or not. And let me see. Then, guess what came to Becky's work? Isn't that beautiful? So, I'm not going to say too much, but I think this one's a keeper. Look at what else he had for her. So, it's nice to uh, nice to be in love. I love that. Okay, I think that's pretty much a, a little picture of my grandsons out for bike ride on a warm day they had up in Maryland. So cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right, that's it for me. Let's see who's next. Diana B., I hate to, this will be the last time we show her beautiful quilt that she designed for us this past Christmas. Oh, it is lovely, lovely, lovely. So hopefully we'll get some more pictures of other things she's made or that she's working on. Then Diana's Sewing Adventures. Wait till you see. Put on your hats. It's going to be an adventuresome ride. Look at this. Look at this wonderful gingerbread house she made. She said she used sugar cones to do the trees and decorate them with icing. But look at all of the work. It is beautiful. Look at the brick, snow-covered brick sidewalk. And oh my gosh, talent, talent, talent. That's beautiful, hon. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I just love it. Looks like a marshmallow snowman down here. I love Santa up by the chimney. Oh, and she has a Christmas cactus. Mine just got through blooming like mad. I love that. Way to go. And look at this quilt. Isn't that cute? That's some pretty satin stitching too. I'm not that good at satin stitching. And I love how she used decorative stitching. That is wonderful. Oh, look, this must be, a, is it a gender reveal cake? How cute. Who will it be, he or she? I love it. Oh, look at that pillow. That's so cute. And a beautiful purple butterfly quilt. And a lone star quilt. Woo. All right. Look at that. Lovely. Lovely. And look at this beautiful watercolor drawing she did for her daughter. Isn't that exquisite? Gosh, I, watercolors are a little intimidating for me, but you did it, make it look easy. Now look at this wonderful painting. The shadowing on the path is wonderful. Good job. And look at this beach painting. Isn't this something? I love it. 
And look, this is a Bugatti. I didn't know what kind of car it was, but look at what she did. That is beautiful. So art comes in all different forms. And Miss Diana um, is very talented. Okay, Miss Dolores. Here is her wonderful quilt. She took a class to learn to do this and to do the wonderful thread painting. And look, look how she did the fabric collage. It's just beautiful. I love that. And her border is very striking. Kind of like a bird footprints. But isn't that amazing? Look at that. Beautiful work. Beautiful. And that's our Dolores. She is a very talented artist. All right, now we're up here, Miss Jody. And as I said earlier, Miss Cheryl sent her. Miss Jody's working on two quilts. She's working on a shirting fabric quilt, wonderful neutrals. And then she's working on a 19th century nine patch that she saw at a quilt shop. So, and I do, let me see, this might. I'm trying to remember which one is the one that Miss Cheryl sent her the fabric for. I think it's this. Miss Cheryl sent her some wonderful shirtings. So I love it. Shirtings refers to a fabric that shirts and dresses were made with back in the 19th century. And just, just, just lovely. So, and then of course, I can't go without showing you. This is Miss Jody's series of matinee monsters and oh this is beautiful just beautiful all right let's see who's next that would be oh linda mack she did send us look at this this must be a grandchild and second place america's cheerleading cup how wonderful and second place in 2022 and 2023. I know she's got to be so proud. That's wonderful, hon. All right. Now, who is next? Ah, Miss Lisa. Miss Lisa's keeping me on my toes. This is an, a woman who likes to get things accomplished. This is a class she took last year at the Myrtle Beach Quilt Party. And I love this. I wouldn't know where to begin with a quilt like this. That is amazing. Then here is her exploding heart in her lovely pink. She did a great job with her fabrics. And here she goes. This is her block number one that she did of our nod to the 19th century block of the week we're doing right now. And then look at this. Now, what I wanted to show you is fabrics can totally make a block. The way she used this pink floral on that arm of each of these flying geese gave a secondary pinwheel design. Look at that. That is so creative. And I then the yellow next catches your eye and you get a beautiful spinning feeling. So you, it can look like an expanded pinwheel or you can make out the circle of flying geese. So I, re, I smiled so big when I saw this. That girl knows her fabric placement. That's wonderful. And a wonderful, a wonderful Christmas ornament she made. And um, a pink flamingo is our symbol for the Myrtle Beach Quilt Party, and I love it every time I see one. Okay, now, how did that get in there? Let me get this out. I did see something. I didn't know where it came from. All right, now, Miss Mary. I've got to check and see if my Miss Mary's okay today. Look at this wonderful, I love the sea oats that she's done here. And then she took a class where they painted their own fabric and cut it apart and put it back together. So talented. I love this. 
embellishing is so much fun. I tell you, it opened up a whole new world of quilting for me. Okay, now let's see who's next. Melanie, Melanie, and Melanie made her way to our Thursday night art quilt. And here's her Miss Willow, who's the apple of her eye with plenty of good reason. And she's seven months old, loves the snow. Such a cutie pie, seven or eight months old. Just a cutie. Look at this beautiful snow they had in Michigan. This past week, they were preparing for the ice storm. They had some highway closings. Whew, this is a quilt she made. She saw the pattern, and was it was just printed in black and white, but she was so enamored of the black and white, she decided that she was going to make a black and white quilt. She sent this picture for any of you who want to do embroidery on your quilts as the quilting Use your embroidery machine, and this woman set up this bar system. It's a um, fabric rack, you know, to hang, you put hangers on, and she did these bungees with these clamps, and that was a brilliant idea. So thank you for sharing that with us, Miss Melanie. Okay, the next, let's see. Um, oh, we're not done yet. Let me see. Here are just a couple more. Boy, does that willow know how to get attention or what? That's so cute. And she said when they try to put puzzles together, her and her husband, willow has to be right up in the middle of all of it. So cute. And I love this with her head right in the snow. So that's our Melanie and her willow. That's wonderful. Okay, now Miss Meltem from Turkey. I love this. She went to an arts and crafts fair. These men are hand quilting on satin. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, these are wonderful. That is art. It, over here, we call them whole cloth quilts. They're wonderful. And I love this. This is Meltem's work. She saw a candied apple in a shop window. And she came home and with that photo. And here's the photo. And she came home and recreated that in fabric. I think it's amazing. Way to go. All right, now let's see. We have, I don't think there are two in here. No, okay. Now we have Nancy Lynn, and I love her collage quilts. They are so much fun, so imaginative. <coughs> Pardon me for sneezing. All right, so they are wonderful. Thank you for sending those to us, Miss Nancy Lynn. She also has a channel so, mm, oh boy. Um, I, she has a YouTube channel, and as soon as I remember it, I'll tell you. Here is Miss Nazarene's work. I love her bookcase quilt. Look at this. Look at the mosaic work she did with the sea turtle. Beautiful. And all the little circles. Oh, the pebbles, the quilting pebbles. Then look at this wonderful Valentine quilt. And Miss Nazarin's another Canadian. We love our Canadians here. And this, she did a beautiful job on her snow globe quilt. Just beautiful. Looks like she used some of the vinyl as well. That's lovely. Thank you, Miss Nazarin. All right. Now, Robin. Robin is really talented with her collage landscapes. 
Look at this new one she's working on. Love it. And then they had a wonderful snowfall. Oh, that's so pretty. Miss Robbins, another one of our Canadian lovely people. And now she has finished doing, putting the fabrics, the collage of fabrics on. And now it's stitching them down and doing thread painting. Just wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we have a new picture from Miss SJ. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see more. Miss SJ, happy birthday, Miss SJ. And she's a young one, but uh, she, she's, she's a whole different decade than most of us. And, um, but she, for her birthday, she w took herself to London. And isn't that wonderful? She said when they got close to photograph this, Big Ben actually went off. That's wonderful. I would love to hear that. So wonderful job. We want more pictures. We love your pictures. Thank you, Miss Jess J. And happy birthday again, hon. And then Sue. Yes, I can't wait to hear from Miss Sue and see how she's doing with her bridge quilt, because I think she's doing spectacularly. So it is really good. I can't wait to see. And I think that was our last one. Nope, 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 nope. Almost forgot Miss Tina. Don't want to forget Miss Tina. This is a vest that Miss Tina made from some quilted fabric, and she adorned it with different kinds, like here the flowers that she's adorned it with. It is lovely. Let me show you a couple more pictures. So, And I have Kate Jackson, who is the quilter from the last homely house. She did something similar to a jeans jacket, took jeans fabric and made a jacket and then decorated it. And I think that is just wonderful. So I love this. I love her work. Look at this. So, you know, it just is a new way of looking at garments and what you wear. Now, look at her rope bowls. I thought this was amazing. I never thought of embellishing a rope bowl. That is wonderful. And I love how part of it is like rope, natural rope, and then part of it's covered. It's just beautiful. So I'm very impressed. Look at this. Look with the handles, the shape of it. Look with these wonderful flowers, double-sided fabric. I mean, that's just amazing. So I said, oh, now got to make some more rope bowls. So thank you, Miss Tina. We love, oops, that was a new, well, I guess it was the beginning one again. But And so this is the vest she made. Whoops, there it is. So anyway, and I love how when you stitch around it, it makes these ghost images that are very attractive. So it gives us lots to think about, which is why I love, love, love your sending in show and tell. All right, now I'm going to come back to you guys. Let's make sure I have everyone's name and we're going to do our drawing for gift certificate. So let me get my all my stuff back in place here. All right. And carefully turn the camera so I don't knock anything loose. Okay. I think I'm being good. Mm. All right. And then this, this way. All right. Being very, very careful. Okay. And we have everyone's name. I know, aren't they so, so talented? All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two names. You each get a gift certificate, and you can have it from gift certificate from any major store, like Missouri Star or Pineapple Fabrics or Keepsake Quilts, any major store that I can find and get you a gift certificate. So, I'm... 
I've got all the names in this bag and I'm mixing them all up and I'm going to pull out one. And that one is Brenda. Brenda. Now, was she was here earlier, I do believe? Oh, I hope she was. Because I wanted the people to be here. I must. I thought that's why I put her name in the bag. So hopefully she was here. All right. I have one more. So I'm mixing up all of these names. And I'm pulling out Michelle Lang. How appropriate. The woman that was inspired this whole channel. Michelle, I'll get with you. I know where she wants her gift certificate from. She loves Missouri Star Quilts. So that is wonderful. Oops, there's that little hanger thing. Okay. Oh, this is so wonderful. Yay. Two gift certificates to celebrate our fifth anniversary. And you would know that the fifth anniversary show was a was a difficult it was a it was a gremlin filled show <laughs> so anyway i will get in touch with brenda and i will get in touch with michelle lang and thank you so much to all of you have fun and um enjoy our fifth anniversary. I hope you do something special for yourself this week. Take good care of yourself. You can't take care of others unless you take care of yourself first. So thank you to everyone and everyone that's made this channel so special. And you have, I mean, you're the whole reason I'm here and I keep coming back because you're so much fun. You're so talented, and it's made me a better person and a better artist. So thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. All right, everyone, you're the best. Take very good care. Oh, it was so good to see each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye-bye. Take good care this week, Jody. We're thinking of you, darling. Bye-bye.